Now you listen to me, listen to me real good. I've told you once, I said it a thousand times. You get out of those pagan, satanic, religious, Christian churches. Christians do not follow the commandments of the Bible. Christians do what they want to do. They make up their own laws, their own rules, and their own regulations. Come out of her, my people, and come out from among them. And it's real simple and easy to ascertain who are these people you need to come out from. Easy. Number one, if they keep Sunday. That's an automatic sign that you need to not have any fellowship with these commandment-breaking, wicked deceivers and seducers and bewitchers of the truth. Simple. Anyway, I know that y'all are um, um, looking forward to the broadcast here tonight. Um, but, you know, you're not going to have any video because I'm not going to be long in that case at all. Um, the water cooler apparently on the brand new computer destroyed the video card. And we don't have a backup computer on standby. But I promise you from this point, we're going to have a backup computer compatible with the one that we already have working here just in case this ever happens again because, you know, the ministry is growing. You can't never anticipate when stuff is going to go bad, uh, but we're going to have to actually be prepared uh, just in case when stuff do go bad. All right, so we're, we're going to be working on another computer that we can just plug and play um, so we don't miss out on service or nothing. Uh, Y'all need to test this probably, what, tonight or tomorrow, early in the morning. Make sure we got video for tomorrow morning. All right. I can't tell one way or another because I don't see anything in here. If you can hear me or not. nothing in here. I don't even hear myself. Why is the mic down low like this? The boom mic? Why is this boom mic down low like this? That one. It's not active tonight because no video. It still works though, don't it? Yeah, but it won't push no signals nowhere. Thing and be, oh, audio with this. Man, we got everything going bad. Only way you can tell is chat. Yeah, wasn't nobody in there. Yeah, it's 50 people in there. All right, then. Well, we're going to be working on a computer to try to expedite two of them, matter of fact. Uh, like I said, you can't never anticipate when things are going to go bad. If it's mechanical, if it's computer, it's going to go bad. So we got to make sure we do our part uh, to make sure we inhibit the devil. Because it could be the devil. There's a demon electronics called Boise. You know it, right? No, oh, yeah. You're probably upset, man, because of all the stuff that's going on in the ministry with these divine healings and carrying on. Anyway, I'm, I'm kind of disappointed because I actually put out a, um, a a thing on YouTube where everybody was actually looking forward to watching tonight. I had a lot of feedback, um, and it's showing live there on YouTube. Um, now I don't think we can do a video, an audio only. I don't know. I have to look into. It. I don't have time for it. All right, Jay, we're gonna go ahead and go through some announcements here for a second. All right. Um, the mailing address, the mailing address. First of all, with greetings to each and every last one of you. And the sweet presence and strong and victorious and mighty overcoming name, our soon coming King, Yahshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ. Uh, we bless you all, and we thank you um, for being here tonight. You know, it's a shame, because Brother Shane actually put his heart and soul into this computer, 
and, and got the latest parts and he put together a dynamic computer and then uh, that's the first time I ever heard of something like a water cooler going bad and then spilling out on the car. But it didn't damage the motherboard, huh, Brother Shane? No, sir. What do we need to get then? Another video card? Uh, what is that one? That's the Avro Media Capture Card. That's what we need? Mm-hmm. That's an HDMI hookup. It probably fried the board, man. Yeah, it fried it bad. I cleaned it off as I couldn't. Well, just give me the stuff, and we'll order tomorrow as soon as service, or service, as soon as Shabbat go out and get back on. But we really do need another computer for backup, though. We're going to go straight to HDMI now. We're just going to go new, new camera. Okay. Uh-oh. Here come the text messages. All right, good. They say they can hear me. Good. I'm just glad to be heard. Hey, it's more better for you to hear me than see me anyway, because he ain't looking at nothing too much when he looks into me. Hallelujah. Ha! Glory to the king. All right. Well, here we are. Let's go ahead and go on with some announcements here. We're not going to be on long before you here tonight, but I do want to say this, all right? Mailing address, okay? Mailing address. Listen to me very closely. I was just going to bring clarity. Uh, I, I think Ashley did a wonderful job. We're going to bring clarity. Oh, man. Whose bag is this? I don't know who bag is this. It's somebody else's bag. What? UPS going to deliver somebody else's mail? Where is he? All right, hey, mailing address. Listen to me very closely, Saints. All right, we're going to some announcements. You may want to get a pen and sheet of paper. We're going to go ahead and go over them things, all right? Now, mailing address is, and if you are writing me a letter and you are sending an offering with your letter, all right, um, I do want to say this. Today, I went to the post office and I picked up some mail, and that was one, believe it or not, this is unbelievable. Uh, there was a, a letter in there. It was open, but yet the offering was still in there. Now, that was amazing. But you need to secure it. We live in a country now, we live in a world, where everybody is an entrepreneur. That means they're a bunch of thieves and stealers. <laughs> and you need to make sure that you, you send in security envelopes where people can't see through it. And then the people at the post office um, take your envelopes, take your letters, because, man, we've been having a lot of this stuff going on lately for some reason. All right? But um, if you're going to send a letter to me, and please, would y'all please get on social media and blast this out and, and try to make sure that it goes to everybody that's affiliated with Straightway, some shape, fashion, or form. Listen to me very closely. If you're sending a letter or an offering of support. You only have to put down Charles Dowell Jr. P.O. Box 32. Lafayette, Tennessee. L-A-F-A-Y-E-T-T-E, -T -T -E, Tennessee 37083. Now, listen to me very closely. Listen. If you are sending something other than a letter of support, i.e., like today we went to the post office and uh, we picked up some organic rice. We picked up toilet paper. Uh, we picked up beans, picked up black beans. Uh, and we appreciate the support because logistically, that really truly helps us out for Passover that's coming up because, you know, we're coming out of the dead season. Everybody's going to be on fire. Everybody's going to be fired up. It's going to be good to see the saints of the Most High Yah again after a six-month layoff. It's going to be good to hug each other next, kiss each other face again, and it's just a wonderful time. A family reunion is basically what it is as Yah invites us to his feast. But if you're going to mail things like that, if you're going to send things even to the saints here on the land, all right, we, we, we uh, use one P.O. box, and the reason why we use one P.O. box, so we don't have to go out and buy 10 and 15 P.O. boxes with, with different saints, and everybody's got a 1,000 P.O. Why put all that money into the postal service when every time they turn around, they're jacking up the postal rates and everything else? We are wise. 
as serpents and harmless as doves. We can't help that a lot of people out there are dumb on purpose. We can't help that. But that's what we do. We try to be wise in everything that we do in this world. So listen to me very closely. All right? Listen to me very closely. All right. If you're sending toilet paper, paper towels, organic rice, plates, we are we got some plates in there too. You you send it to 506 Ellington Drive, P.O. Box 32, Lafayette, Tennessee 37083, and make sure you put Charles Dowell Jr. Hallelujah. That's easy enough, isn't it? That's simple enough. Glory to the King. All right. Now, uh, if you are sending an offering, we prefer cash. And the reason why we prefer cash is because, you know, we pay. It's amazing. It's hypocritical as this system is. First of all, what they'll do is they'll say, Charles Dowell is a business. And I'll say, no, I ain't. I'm an individual person. I'm not a business. Um. Well, you got to pay taxes. Okay, well, I'm a minister. Do you have a 501c3? No, I don't have a 501c3. Well, you got to pay taxes. Well, hold on. Uh, Congress shall make no law expecting the establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof. Well, you, if you're not uh, uh, signed up with our 501c3 system, uh, then we have no way of knowing you. It was www.straightwaytruth.com. Go over there and check it out. Uh, YouTube, PastorDow.com, and look at, look at all the, the um, um, preaching and teachings I do. Online, hyphenchurch.org. You want to hear some more of me, go to um, www.blogtalkradio.com forward slash straightway. We have a mirror site at www.straightway.com. Our main website is www.straightwaytruth.com. And so you can't tell me I'm not a preacher. TC, this this system is something else. And as long as we deal it in cash, there's a reason why they don't they want a cashless society. As long as we deal it in cash, and I you know, and what I say is is if you're gonna send something anything over two hundred dollars, I used to say five hundred dollars, put it in a two, three day priority mail package. And that way it's more secure. It's sent by overnight carriers, more secure. It costs, what, six ninety five. Just take it out of the offering that you're going to send. Uh, that way you have a peace of mind that it, your money got here the way that it should. Your offering did, your letter of support, and we were able to receive it. And what we're doing, because, you know, if you get some of you out there that, let's say if you're a group and you're sending $1,000 in a month, if you do that, think about this. They got a thing out there called gift tax. And if they want to call it and you send over Thirteen thousand dollars in one year. Do you know that the government can come after you for a gift tax because you gifted thirteen thousand dollars to somebody? That's what the system does. That's the reason why we we ask <clears throat> that you send Federal Reserve notes, and um, so that way they leave you alone and they leave me alone. And President Trump has made sure they left him alone because. He's the only president in history that has never disclosed his tax forms. He said he's been audited. Amazing, huh? And so um, if you're going to get a money order, we recommend a postal money order or a Western Union money order, either one of those. Reason being because they are a whole lot more reliable than the rest of them. A post office money order has better insurance and reliability than any of them out there. I know it may be an inconvenience, but you know what? We serve in a faith that y'all never told us that the way was going to be easy. He told us that the way is going to be rough, as a matter of fact. And we appreciate the sacrifice of praise. That's all we're doing. But And then when you get finished and all else fails and you just don't have any other way to send it but, but the way that you normally send it, then I, by all means, send it. And, and we'll take care of it from there. Don't know how to be more honest than that, but we do thank the Father for your love, offering, and your gifts. Um, i also like to send a shout-out to Brother Josh for helping the ministry. He's doing something down on the computers the way he can do a Twitter blast. 
Some of you out there are experts on Facebook. I really would appreciate that if you would take some of my videos, some of the ones that really impact you, put it up on your page and do a Facebook blast and blast it all over Facebook. Because Facebook is, man, if the CIA using it, the FBI using it, we need to be using it. Because, man, apparently that thing is really extensive and you can really get a message to people in a short period of time. Hallelujah. And plus, blood, Brother Josh is going to help uh, me to be working to get on Patreon as well. All right? And also, let's go to another area. If you're flying in for the piece of unleavened bread, the Passover, please do not book flights wanting us to come and pick you up at 11 p.m. at night or 2 o'clock in the morning because you know what you're going to do? You're going to sit there at the airport. Because we're tired at the end of the day. And and, and we need for y'all to be considerate of us as a people. We really truly do. So be considerate of us and our time. Because it's, it's, it's a one hour and 45 minute drive one way from straightway to the airport. So when you get finished with that, you know you're out four hours in drive time just to pick up people from the airport, we don't mind doing it. But at least make the time convenient to us, all right? Anytime in the daylight period, Aries. Not not at nighttime when you know we're going to be settling in because we work extremely hard, all right? Appreciate it. If you already booked your tickets, don't change them now. It's a little too late. I know you booked them so you could get a very good deal. All right, hallelujah. Now, on another note. This dead season has literally been something else, has it not? Now, go back to Passover. Go back, I mean, go back to Tabernacles. Didn't Pastor Dow tell you, I know I did, that some of you, you ain't serious-minded enough, and, and this walk is going to get so holy, so narrow, in such a righteous way, that many of you ain't going to be here come Passover. We've had a pastor fall out of the faith. We had an elder decide that he's just going to walk away from the faith not communicate, not be honorable and respectful, uh, and give us the due diligence and the honor that we're due, uh, it's just a sad situation. We've got brothers, more brothers, falling out of the faith than anything. And sisters are the ones who are actually fighting to stay in and to maintain the faith. So, again, the role reversal is real. you got these brothers running around, these effeminate spirits, and these sisters, man, man, they're driving on. It's just the truth. And, of course, I'm sure y'all can see the posture of a lot of people and watch the ground beneath their feet give way. I'm sure you can see it. I'm sure you can see it. It's evident. I really wish that some of you would increase in discernment. I really, truly would, just like Brother Eric Robinson has. A brother tried to email Eric Robinson or text him asking him lace questions. It's obvious that he's been speaking and talking with someone else. Brother Eric caught it. Next thing you know, he's being called a chump and everything else. And, and the brother's really mad and upset at him. And I'm sure y'all saw my video on Straightway University. We're not going to tolerate that. You know, I want y'all to listen to me. The scriptures teach us as brethren, and I know that some of you, you don't give a damn about the scriptures. I know you don't love y'all, you don't love yourself, and you don't love your brethren. But for those of us that do, and those of us that are serious-minded, and those of us that we're in this for the long haul. The Bible teaches that we, us, brothers, sisters, you hearing me, some of you damn hypocrites out there? You two-faced hypocrites, you hearing me? You stage-playing hypocrites. The Bible teaches us that we should have fervent charity among ourselves. Do y'all hear me? I mean fervent charity. That means we're supposed to have a fondness and the tenderness in our heart towards each other. And some of you, you so jacked up in your sorry-ass emotions and your sorry-ass feelings that you don't give a damn about y'all's agenda, his program. You don't give a damn about your brothers and sisters because you esteem your God emotions high above y'all's word. You better get a hold of yourself and get a grip of yourself. I told you, y'all ain't playing around with some of you people. All this elementary, all this immaturity, that you operate in. It's just unbelievable. 
30, 40, 50, 60, 70 years old and act like a bunch of damn children. We're all to start putting bibs around of you, around each one and give you all a bunch of sippy cups. It's just ridiculous what goes on. And you mean to tell me that this is deserving of our father? All this conduct unbecoming, this is deserved. This is what the father, this is the thanks that the father gets after the sacrifice of being mindful to each and every last one of us, bringing us out of darkness into his marvelous light, filling us with the Ruach HaKadosh, writing our names down in the Lamb's Book of Life, and, th- and this is the thanks that he gets, and you are so self-focused, so self-absorbed. And so damn selfish that you can't die out to your nasty, stinking, funky, devout flesh to give him the glory and to give him the honor and the praise that is due to him? What is wrong with you? Do you want to go back to the world? Do you want to go back to the darkness? The Bible said it would have been better for you to not even have known the way of righteousness than to have known it than to turn from it. But it has happened to them according to the true proverb. The sow that was washed is returned to a wallowing in the mire. Is that what you want? You want to go back again? You want to keep toying around with your flesh? Your flesh will take you farther than you want to go. It will keep you longer than you want to stay. And you better watch. I'm telling you, there's a devil. The devil is always working. What it should do when you're watching all of these Confident people falling off by the wayside, playing church, playing assembly, false brethren, false sisters, hypocrites in mind and spirit. You see the reason why they don't last long? Because they don't keep themselves in the love of Yah. You see, when you entertain the devil too much through bitterness, when you entertain the devil too much through unforgiveness, you think that you're strong enough to be able to withstand against the, the wiles of the devil, and we're watching the devil taking people out left and right in this dead season. But you know what else we're watching? We're watching the Father bring in more serious-minded people. Do y'all realize that during this dead season that we have had more people, regardless of all that, uh, all of the wickedness that is going on with a lot of people that is out there in the front that is evident that you can see. Do y'all realize during this dead season that we have had more people filled with the baptism of the Holy Spirit than in the history of the dead season of straightway? Now, most of you don't know that. You know the reason why? Because um, we, we're about our father's business. And, and 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 they ain't nobody. They ain't nowhere people can go to get the Holy Spirit because you have to have a home environment conducive of it. Some of you want to be Israelites, and and new people come to your place and can't even get filled with the Holy Spirit. What in the? You mean to tell me the Father's not invited, man? Hey, and let me tell you something else that happened. We just had a brother that that flew all the way out here from California. Yeah, last week, the first thing he said to me, Pastor, my wife and I, we are desperate. We couldn't wait any longer. They bought them a round-trip plane ticket to straightway. And his brother came here with with um, chronic kidney disease. He went back home after being delivered. Brother Scott Elder Donnie, Brother Shane, and then myself refereeing. Them brothers got out to that demonic spirit. That brother went back to the doctor. He got his blood work checked and stuff. The doctors are baffled. They are beside themselves because this brother's been having this chronic kidney disease for a while. They can't explain what just happened. Guess what? Yahshua is still alive. That's what just happened. Yeah, he's still in the healing business. He told us to heal the sick and cast out devils. And guess what? This brother was a member of GMS, Great Millstone. And guess what? He couldn't get it there. I told y'all, there's no healing in these so-called fake, false, phony Hebrew camps. And he says that he is going to bring all of his paperwork at Passover 
so he can give y'all the glory. What are we giving y'all the glory for? Because our names are written down in the Lamb's Book of Life. That's what we're giving y'all the glory for. And all this is taking place regardless of all the stuff that you hear out front of these pastors, these these two-faced hypocrites running dirty, thinking that they were going to keep doing it for years and not be called on it. Let me tell you something. I'm going to say it again. I said it once. I said it a thousand times. Just because you don't see Pastor Dow or the elder saying something, believe me, we watching you. You think you slick. You think you're smart, devil, but we watching you. And guess what? The day is coming when the ground beneath your feet is going to give way. You know, it's really an easy thing to keep yourself in the love of y'all. It really is. But, man, when you walking dirty, you being a hypocrite, believe me, your day of reckoning is coming. It is coming just as sure as the day is long. We just had a brother healed of what they call an incurable disease. All they can do is manage it. And y'all is just good. He just flat out good. Hey, didn't he receive the baptism? Did he receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit too, Brother Scott? Do y'all brothers remember? I know we got a delay up there, so um, we, we're going to check it out. But, man, I tell you, you, you people, yeah, and he also came here from California and received the baptism of the Holy Spirit. That's right. The Hebrew camps, they don't believe in stuff like that. That's why y'all are powerless. That's why you people remain sick. And then you got this 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 bastard out there uh, called Robert out there in Jefferson, South Carolina. Uh, there's no organic healing. Not for your fat ass, it ain't, and you unbelieving bastard. It definitely ain't for you. It don't belong to you. Got all those people out there in bondage because you think you're some type of great orator or, or some type of theologian and stuff with your dumb ass self. <laughs> it's just crazy as hell. Somebody said, Pastor, boy, you been getting ugly lately. Yeah, I, I got to be common because this we're dealing with a wicked and perverse generation. Y'all ain't never seen all these people out here that is just openly flaunting their LBGTQ and everything else. And I just did a video earlier where his mama is now claiming that she done had four children now. And her youngest is four years old. Uh, uh, honeys, I want y'all to come on in here and sit down. Uh, Mama got something I want to tell you. Uh, I now identify myself as a man. And then that spirit jumps on uh, a son, and then the son says, oh, 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 I guess I'm glad Mama's doing it, because you know what? I'm not a boy anymore. I'm a girl. You people are sick. That's the devil. That is the devil. And somebody got to have passion against this wicked, evil, wicked, perverse generation. I promise you, it's just a sad, sick thing. So while <clears throat> the devil are getting those people that are his and causing them to fall out of the faith and fall away from Israel, all you hypocrites out there running dirty, Yah is busy bringing in serious-minded people who love the Father and getting filled with the Holy Spirit and getting healed of incurable disease. And for that, we give Yah the glory. Hallelujah. We give Yah the glory. Glory, because he alone is worthy to be praised. Did y'all hear what I said? I said he alone is worthy to be praised. Somebody say glory. Somebody say glory. Somebody say glory. I will give you pastors according to mine heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. I will give you pastors according to mine heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. And that's right. That's who I am. My name is Pastor Charles Dowell, Jr. I am a Yah-called pastor, a Jeremiah 315. 
and I will give you pastors, Yahweh said, according to my heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. You won't believe how many people's lives has changed out there because they have been listening to the straightway truth. That's that anointing, and that's that unction that the Father gives. He gives us this confidence wherewith we know that we are Israel, the children of Yah. And he gave you the ears to hear and the eyes to see. And Yah is good. And we thank the Father for it. Glory to the King. So you can forget about me shutting up until he called me home. That's all there's to it. Glory to the King. <clears throat> um, we had um, a small storm come through the community the other day. It didn't hit the community. It was just some high winds. No telling what, what it tore up, but the guest trailer right across the street from me. Man, believe it or not, we had a tree fall down on that trailer. Uh, so now we're going to go ahead. And, it's an old trailer we was planning on condemning anyway. So now we're going to go ahead and maybe first day start demolitions on that and get that place cleared out so we can start working on uh, building maybe another little home there to replace that thing. But that's, that's the truth. That's what happened. Hallelujah. Now, the ministry as a whole has decided to start praying against Steve Campanelli. For 30 days, we want everybody to be committed to Psalms 109 and Psalms 35 against this bastard who simply just cannot stop smoking dope. He cannot stop sodomizing people. And then he goes to social media every time he gets high as a kite or he goes off into another dimension and he starts slandering straightway. He starts going in, I mean, just saying all kind of vile things on us. That's all right. So as you have loved cursing, so let it be coming, so let it come unto you. That's going to be our prayer. Let me, let, me, let me give you all some wisdom for your own good. Have you people been able to see during this dead season how serious the Bible is? The only reason why a lot of these men are falling away because they held secret envy and secret jealousy in their heart towards pastor. Can you amaze? Can you, can you believe that? The Bible says in Isaiah 54, 17, that no weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. And every tongue that shall rise up against thee in judgment. You know what it says? You shall condemn. Do you know the reason why you shall condemn that? Huh? Because it tells you why. This is the heritage of the servants of Yahweh, and their righteousness is of me, saith Yahweh. Do y'all get that? Do y'all get that? People have put their mouth on this ministry, and we're watching people fall like dead flies in the time that we're living in. And it's like people have lost the fear of Yah. You should have figured out by now that not only is Pastor Dow an anointed vessel called by Yah, but straightway as a whole. Can you get your Bible, get your scriptures, and turn to Acts, the fifth chapter? And let's read verse 26, and let's do this for your own good out there, for those of you who, who just don't seem to understand. Uh, Acts chapter 5. And we're going to start reading at verse 26. Now, there were some people that thought that they were going to, you know, they were filled up with bitterness. They were filled up with envy and filled up with jealousy. And, and what they did was they thought, they said, you know what, since we don't like these people, we're going to figure out a way to overthrow them. That's what they're going to do. And the Bible says in Acts 5, starting at verse 26, then with the captain, with the officers, and bought them without violence. For they feared the people, lest they should have been stoned. And when they had bought them, they set them before the council and the high priest and asked them, saying, Did not we straightly command you that you should not teach in this name? What do people get on us for? Still teaching in the name of Jesus? Huh? And behold, you have filled Jerusalem with your doctrine and intend to bring this man's blood upon us. No, nope. you people out there with your lip, your loose tongue, putting your tongue on Yah's anointing, you are the ones that's going to bring the blood of Yahshua upon you. 
because you have no character, no integrity, and no honor. You may not consider us as brothers and sisters any longer just because you get offended or you get, you, you're get you full of bitterness. That sounds like a personal problem. If I was you, I wouldn't step over the line and start putting your mouth on us because you know why? You're touching y'all's anointing, and you're trying to do his work hard. And when you do that, you're trying to harm the Father, and y'all's got his angels protecting us, and he's going to get you. He's going to take your prideful, arrogant, self-willed, confident self, and he's going to send you right back off into the world to serve the devil that you love serving. Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, We ought to obey Yah rather than man. The Yah of our fathers raised up Jesus, whom ye slew and hang up on a tree. Him have Yah exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a savior for to give repentance to Yisrael and forgiveness of sins. And we are his witnesses of these things. And so is also the Holy Ghost whom Yah have given to them that obey him. You see, all these people that come here during this dead season, they receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit. You know the reason why? Because they obey him. Check this out. When they heard that they were, look, when they heard they were cut to the heart and took counsel to slay him. Y'all see what happens when Pastor Dow start getting on people? These people get cut to the heart. Now, they're not going to go out here and try to seek to kill me physically. They're going to try to murder me through hatred of their words by prating against us with malicious words. They're going to run to the court of public opinion and try to sway people's minds from coming to Yah's ministry so that they can receive salvation. Because, you know, everyone who keeps their spirit in the right order, all of us are happy. Everyone that keeps ourselves in the love of Yah, we encourage. We're having a wonderful time. We're having a good time. And it's a joyful thing for us to pray for people and watch them get filled with the Holy Spirit and watch them get delivered and watch people get devils cast out. We're about our Father's business. And each Sabbath, we have sweet fellowship. Sabbath is just a beautiful day for us. Because, man, we, as soon as we get finished up here, let me see. We pray in the morning. We hear the word. We sing. We dance. Worship the Father. Uh, we do deliverance. We pray for the sick. People get filled with the Holy Spirit. We go down to the dining hall. We eat. If need be, we baptize people. We spend up until the wee hours of the night speaking and fellowshipping, having wine and strong drink and just communing with each other. It's just a wonderful Shabbat. is just a wonderful time for us. Just a wonderful time for us. And so it's utterly amazing what people do. They get cut to the heart when I start talking about certain things. And instead of falling on their face repenting, they get covered with shame, clothed with shame, and then they run away with their head between their tail. And, or either they rise up in pride and they try to sit there and justify their wicked self rather than humbling themselves under the mighty hand of Yah. All right? And whatever they meant for us, you watch and see the sword not part depart from their house. Here it goes. And when they heard that, they were cut to the heart and took counsel to slay them. Then stood there up one in the council, a Pharisee named Gamaliel, a doctor of the law, had in reputation among all the people and commanded to put the apostles forth a little space. And he said unto them, Ye men of Israel, y'all listen to this now. I hope y'all learned something from this. Take heed to yourselves what you intend to do as touching these men. For before these days rose up Thaddeus, boasting himself to be somebody. Don't that sound like Tatum? to whom a number of men, about 400, joined themselves, who were slain. And all, as many as obeyed him, were scattered and brought to naught. See what happens when you listen to the wrong people? You get scattered and you get brought to naught. But, let me see, make sure I don't go, all right. And after this man rose up Judas 
of Galilee, and in the days of the taxing, and drew away much people after him, he also perished, and all, even as many as obeyed him, were dispersed. Y'all hear that? It, it doesn't end well with people who decide to go against Yah's men. Look at this, or Yah's people. And now I say unto you, refrain from these men, and let them alone. For if this counsel or this work be not be of men, it will not come to naught. But if it be of Yah, you cannot overthrow it, lest happily you be found even to fight against Yah. Watch this. Do y'all know how many people have been trying over the last two decades to bring down straightway? Do y'all know? Y'all know how many people have left from here, went out, and boast themselves to be something when they are, they are nothing? This ain't our first rodeo. We've been doing this for 20-something years, saints, 20-something years. And we watch people come, man, and we watch them go. And we watch them all get filled and lifted up with pride and lifted up with envy and lifted up with jealousy and malice and ill will. And they boast themselves to be something. Oh, I heard it. You gonna come down. Y'all's gonna destroy. Y'all's gonna and then they speak curses against us. And then they go and ally with people and they get people who will listen to them and then they get drawn out of the faith which y'all bought them to. And then they end up getting disgruntled, listen to the sickness of a viper, get bit by the wrong one, and they start rising up against us. And you know what? They all have a hope that we come to naught. But guess what? 20 years later, guess who's still standing? Straightway. Still standing. And every single one of these who took crafty counsel against Yah's people, they have all gone the way of Cain. They have all gone the way of Balaam and Bazaar, who love the wages of sin, every single one of them. And you can see them. Go to Facebook. They parade themselves around, and they flaunt themselves in their shame and in their iniquity. They, they breathe it out, and they, and, and, they, and they drink up iniquity like scorning. And, and they forget that at one time they were once washed. You know why? Because now Satan has entered into them, and the last state of that man, the last state of that woman, has become worse than the first. And they all were confident that we were going to fall. Now you got half of them that don't even profess to even know y'all or even to be in the faith no more. We even had a group of people even get together. We'll show him. We'll show them. We'll get together and we'll fellowship amongst ourselves. You know how long that lasted? Less than three months. And they were all scattered and dispersed. They joined together and said, we're going to raise up our own self. We're going to have our own community. And they all are scattered to the four winds of the earth and have no fellowship with each other at all. And they all were confident. You're coming down, Pastor Dow. Straight way is coming down. And we're like, well, y'all raise us up. And he's the only one that can take us down, that's for sure. Because y'all is the one who puts up and y'all is the one who puts down. But you know what's been happening? Everyone that has thought that and thought that they were anointed, they are the ones that come down. They are the ones that were dispersed. They are the ones that have been bought to not. And guess what? Straightway is still standing. <laughs> I will give you pastors according to mine heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. And y'all grant us another 20 years, we still going to be standing. Another 40 years, we going to still be standing. And if we are dead and gone on to the Shemaim, then our descendants are going to be standing. But for the rest of these crooked, iniquitous, transgressing people, guess what? There's an attitude that you can easily see. Number one, they were scattered and brought to naught. 
Number two, as many as obeyed all of these people who were full of jealousy and envy, they were dispersed. And then number three again, the warning is, listen, folks out there, and I say unto you, you refrain from these men. In other words, you people better leave Pastor Dow. You better leave the elders. You better leave the brothers and sisters and the children along in this ministry. See, if you touch us with your mouth, you know what you're doing? You are touching the apple of Yah's eye. Woo! And guess who ends up sending a host of demonic spirits over to you? You get out there and you get to cursing. And as you love cursing, it's done come unto you. You're hoping to see us fall. Some of you wish us death, hell, and Hades. And the very thing that you wished upon us, it comes on you. It's amazing how this spiritual warfare works, isn't it? Isn't that amazing? Isn't that amazing? You actually end up getting what you asked for. That's something. Out of your own mouth, you just condemned yourself and sealed your eternal soul. You rose up against another child of Yah. Because you stopped believing that we were y'all's children. And guess what? Who are you to think that you can actually say that we're not y'all's children when we're still keeping the commandments? We're still living set apart. We're still uh, loving our brothers and our sisters and encouraging each other. And our names are written down in the Lamb's Book of Life. We are not they that have drawn back to perdition. And you watch every one of these people come to y'all. Not. But if it be of y'all, you cannot overthrow it, lest happily you be found to fight against Yah. In other words, when you fight against Yah's people, you are actually fighting against Yahweh himself. Are you people out of your mind? Have you forgotten that Yah is the one that bought you to us? He bought you to us for your salvation, for us to teach you the way of righteousness. And here we are, 20 years later. After all these people come and gone, maliciously misrepresented us, falsely reporting and accusing us, lying on us, using treacherous words against us, and deceiving the hearts of the simple, letting Satan use them in order to hope to deter someone else who should have been ordained to eternal life to listen to us because you are bitter, you are envy, and you are jealous. And you know what? Now you got blood on your hands because you have just got finished sealing somebody's eternal faith into the lake of fire because you prevented them from coming to those who had the words of eternal life by biting them and filling them up with your vicious venom that you have. And some of you ain't going to be told what you've done until the breath go out of your body. But I tell you one thing, they're keeping a record up in heaven. They show off. And yes, guess what? They, they're keeping a record on Pastor Dow. They're keeping a record on the saints of straightway. And ain't none of us going to get by. Not a one of us. And you know what? I'm a righteous man, and I love judgment. So uh, you know what? I, it is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living you but I know in whom I believe in, and I know that he is able to keep that which I have committed unto him against that day. And many of you have stopped believing. You have gone back to the ways of the world, and you immersed yourself in it. You flaunt yourself in it. You have forgotten that at one time you had been washed. If any man put his hand to the plow and he looks back, he is not fit. For the kingdom of Yah. And many of you have put your hand to the plow and you have looked back, and guess what? You are not going to the kingdom. So when you fight against Yah's people, you are fighting against Yah himself. Do you really think that after Yah has done built this ministry from the ground up to be a beacon and a light post to you people out there, you really think that because one of you disgruntled imps out there get full of bitterness and hatred and jealousy, that he's going to allow you to bring down this ministry? You are out of your ever-loving mind. Twenty years later, I'm still standing. You better believe it. And to him, they agreed. And when they had called the apostles and beaten them, they commanded 
that they should not speak in the name of Jesus and let them go. And they parted, they departed from the presence of the council, rejoicing that they were counted worthy to suffer shame for his name. And daily in the temple and in every house they ceased not to teach and preach Jesus Christ. And you know what? We're not going to cease to teach or to preach Jesus Christ. And that is the truth, and that's the truth straight away. Hey, tell you what, I'll be back here in, in, in a minute to take a few phone calls. Hallelujah. I love y'all. Love you dearly. You true Israelites, Lord to the King. Love y'all dearly. Hallelujah. Let's go to a mailing address break. Go to mail break. Get some ministry information. And I'll be back here to take a few phone calls, just a few phone calls. Uh, because of all the technical difficulties and stuff, because I got to get the brothers, they have got to uh, actually pull um, a, a, a mule out of the ditch just to make sure that you're able to see service live tomorrow. So uh, be back here in just a moment. Sister Wenda. Shalom, this is Sister Wenda. I hope that all of you are enjoying the broadcast that you're listening to right now. We appreciate each and every last one of you, our faithful listeners and supporters of the Straight Way Truth radio broadcast. We try to make sure that we do our due diligence and do our best to ensure that you have the best broadcast as well as the truth coming to you in the hour that we're living in right now. If you would like to help us in this endeavor, your offering will be greatly appreciated in the work of the Ministry of the Most High Yah. Our mailing address for your gift Offering or letter of support is Charles Dowell Jr. That's Charles Dowell Jr. And Dowell is spelled D O W E L L. 506 Ellington Drive. Ellington is spelled E L L I N G T O N. P O Box 32, Lafayette, Tennessee. And Lafayette is spelled L-A-F-A-Y-E-T-T-E-37083. Again, our mailing address is Charles Dowell, Jr., 506 Ellington Drive, P.O. Box 32, Lafayette, Tennessee, 37083. If you would like to contact us by way of phone, the country code is 1, area code 615-688-3025. That's 1-615-688-3025. You may leave a message there, and, be the Father's will, we will do whatever we can to try to return your message. It is our hope and our prayer that as you continue to listen to the Straightway Truth Ministry, and as you apply the teachings of this ministry, that you are finding peace and growth within you, your family, and life as well. Please tell others so that the truth may also have an impact and touch others' lives so that they may enjoy the benefits of the truth of Jesus Christ just like we all are. Shalom. The King is coming. And that's right. The King is coming. Hallelujah. All right. Guest calling number. 515-602-9654. That's 515-602-9654. Let's go to Florida. Call number 813. And y'all listen to me. I I love talking to y'all. I really, truly do. So would y'all go ahead and uh, get right to the question. Um, I love hearing your voice and everything, but we want to try to uh, get right to the cause in order to accommodate all the people that are in here tonight, um, and I appreciate it. Glory to the King. Uh, let's go to Florida. Call number 813-813, Brother Frank. This is Pastor Dow. You're on the Straight Be Truth Radio broadcast. How can I help you? Yes, sir. Pastor Dow, uh, I'm happy to talk to you once again. I wasn't able to – oh, you said get straight to the question. Exactly. Uh, so my question, my direct question – is I actually um, I have something to talk to you about, but it's a private that I don't know if it's the wisest thing to do over the air. 
So I was going to ask you if you could discern the situation and allow me to either, I don't know, inbox you, email you, something. But I just need to ask you something private. It was extremely important, and I just took the time on Shabbat to, to ask you this. I'll tell you what, brother Frank, you um, call the dining hall phone number. You know the number behind us, right, behind me uh, during uh, YouTube? Yeah I, 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 yeah, I can find it. I'll find it. I'll give it to you. Six one five. Are you ready? Copy. Uh, uh give me, please. Uh, give me, just give me like five seconds. Honestly, I just need to write it. Okay, six one five. Six eight eight. Six eight eight. Three zero two five. All right, cool. Thank you so much, Pastor Dell. Call, call there. Leave your name and your phone number and say you spoke with Pastor Dow. Leave a message you spoke with Pastor Dow on the radio broadcast. And and this is for Pastor Dow. They'll put it on the board for me and I'll and I'll get back with you in this private matter. Okay, my brother? All right, cool. Well, thank you so much. And uh hey, Pastor Dow, man, this is uh, you're the, you're an amazing amazing leader. So thank you. Hey, my brother, just 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 pray for me, man. I, I appreciate it. Uh, I just need okay. need uh, all of y'all's strength, man. This generation is tough. This is a tough generation, bro. I've even paid attention to how my spirit has changed over the last five years because this generation is just so tough. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. No, I mean, I mean, uh, I'm a, I'm, I'm a young guy, but you know, I hang around, you know, older people all the time, and I'm telling you right now, Pastor Dow, I'm so serious, man. You're an amazing leader. I look at all the greatest leaders in, in. The, 21st century, 20th century, and you're up there. Uh, you're up there amongst the greats. Well, glory to the King. All right, brother okay. Frank. Hey, I hope you tune in tomorrow during Shabbat service at 11 a.m. Central Standard Time at www.online-church.org. All righty, I I uh, I'll try my best. I honestly, will. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. All right, let's go, Junior. Nine two nine, nine two nine. All right, Junior, how you doing, Junior? Phenomenal, Pastor. I just want to thank you so much for this beautiful message last week, beautiful views this week, all power pack videos, all of them. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Yes, sir. So you right, know, Junior. keep on doing what you gotta do, huh? All right, brother Junior. Have a blessed Sabbath. Yes, sir. So long. Good night. Call number seven two seven seven two seven, brother Peter, uh, there in Florida. It's Pastor Dow. You on the straightway to the radio broadcast? I can help you. Shabbat shalom, Pastor. Shabbat shalom, Peter. Peter, you get my letter uh, telling you to make yes, sure sir. you send them in secure envelopes. I noticed you've been doing that lately. I appreciate it. Yes, sir. Uh, just trying to be obedient, sir. Um, hallelujah. Uh, last Shabbat. Uh, I just want to thank you, Pastor, for your commitment and providing us with, you know, the truth. And uh, just, just thank you so much, Pastor. Um, You're welcome. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Uh, the Father revealed to me since uh, last Shabbat I got to uh, the privilege to stay with the Straightway KC, and uh, I noticed that Brother Peter has the same name as me, but at the same time, my name, Peter, is not actually my real name. And so the Father revealed to me that that name was actually given to me by an unclean spirit, which was which was from, uh, you know, my former stepdad. And I was wondering, uh, since my real name is not for it, that uh, um, will, it be, will it be right to have my name called within the ministry as that name, not for red, or for short red. No. I mean, you started off with Peter, and that's what we know you by, but if you want us to call you Rhett, you said Rhett. Yes, sir. Just, it's going uh, to take us a while to get it, man, but we'll try our best, okay? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, we respect. That's, that's all I had. Yes, sir. All men, brother. That's what we do in this ministry, bro. We we're not dishonorable or disrespectful to people at all. Yes, sir. 
I receive that. Hallelujah. Okay, Pastor. Um, that's all I had. All right, Shabbat Shalom. Bless you, Brother Shabbat Shalom, Pastor. Bless you, Pastor. Hallelujah. Let's go to New York, Brother Mike. Call number 646. 646, Pastor Dow, you're on the Straight Retune Radio broadcast. I can help, Brother Mike. Uh, Shabbat Shalom, my shepherd. How you doing this evening? God bless you, son. Doing well, doing well. Ha- hallelujah, sir. I just was calling in to say Shabbat Shalom to my family of Straightway, all my brothers and sisters, and to you, sir. And uh, just to say bless you, sir. Sir, thank you for all the messages you have been giving this week. It's really edifying. Uh, me and the brothers have been really talking about it a lot on the phone and fellowshipping for the things you've been saying. Thank you for Shabbat service last week, sir. You've um, really been um, power packing the punches to show us our wicked ways and um, to get us to change to be what the Father wants us to be, sir. So I just want to say Shabbat Shalom. Can't wait to hug your neck at um, Passover and see my, my, all my family again. Hallelujah, sir, and um, have a blessed Shabbat, sir. Hallelujah. Bless you, brother Mike. Shabbat Shalom. Let's go to Maryland. Call number 443-443. It's Pastor Dowell. You're on the Shrippy Jude Radio broadcast. How can I help you there in Maryland? Shabbat Shalom, Pastor. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Got you. How you doing? I'm um, calling to make more of an uh, introduction. Uh, I met you at the Good um, debate that you had in Virginia. Um, after I saw you step out in the hall because I was very upset with, with the other pastor who kept blaspheming. And uh, me and you had a quick conversation, and you let me know it was going to be okay. And don't worry about it. I don't know if you recall right. it or not. But, yeah, it was, a, <laughs> it was rough hearing him. But um, I've been following you for about a year, listening to your videos. Um, and I've actually used your video to help somebody wake up recently. Um, a church had destroyed his marriage, and so I pretty much just wanted to call and say thank you, and uh, we would like to come to your, your Passover as well. Who is this? What's your name? Uh, my name is Tori. Tori? Okay. Yes. So who's coming to Passover, you and who? Uh, my friend Urban. Uh, he was the one that uh, when we watched her, I mean, your video, uh, Hear You Woman, really kind of helped him out. He was going through a real bad situation uh, where the church had kind of really messed up things between him and his wife, and it was really bad. But when he well, saw your video as well, and I, when he saw your video, it was just like, man, it's supposed to be head. I said, yeah, that's what I'm trying to tell you for like the last year or so. <laughs> but, yeah, um, but we, we want to come uh, down and, and fellowship. All right, well, I'm going to make a video uh, showing the people who are brand new coming to this um, what to expect when coming to Straightway. So call the dining hall, tell them that Pastor Dow gave you approval on the radio broadcast, Brother Tory, and write down your other person's name as well, okay? Okay, will do. I appreciate that, Pastor. Looking forward to seeing y'all pass over. It'll be a wonderful day. Praise, praise God. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. All right, let's go to New York, 347. Brother Steve, Pastor Dow. You're on the Strip Truth Radio broadcast. I can't help it, that brother Steve. <laughs> Pastor, you are on fire tonight. I am loving it, Pastor. Uh, this broadcast has really been feeding that spirit within me because this walk is so serious. And I thank you, Pastor, for definitely holding the torch high and bright for us all to follow through. This is truly a ministry after the most high, and no man can tear it down. No demonic spirit will take it down but the most high. Yeah. So I want to thank you, Pastor, for being my leader, my shepherd, uh, and I thank you, Pastor. Hallelujah. You're welcome. Hallelujah. I want to real quickly thank you again for your hospitality last week. Uh, for opening up your doors, uh, for being worthy of allowing our heads to be laid for there for a time. Um, as usual, you guys are always amazing um, fellowship, you know, rejuvenating in the spirit. And uh, I was actually a witness when you guys were doing deliverance on that brother, you know, with the chronic kidney disease and him receiving the Holy Spirit. The Most High is still doing his thing. He's still... You know, uh, has power, and that's the thing that so many fellowships, so many religions don't have and don't even believe in. 
So True. the power of the Most High is 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 all omnipotent, and I thank the Father for even bringing me to His ministry to ever experience such amazing power and being part of such a ministry this way. So, Pastor, keep on doing your thing. I love you dearly. I love all the saints and straightway. Mother Carol, we received your package. Bless you. <laughs> Esther is so excited over there. Let, I, I have Esther give a word real quick. But, Pastor, I just want to tell you thank you so much. Hallelujah. Bless you, my brother. Love you. Hold on real quick. Shabbat Shalom, Pastor. Hey, Shabbat Shalom, Esther. How you doing, daughter? I am excellent. Thank you. Bless how are you, Pastor? I am doing well, doing well. A little hot right. under the collar at the devil, but other than that, I'm encouraged as well. Yes, ma- yes, sir. Thank you. Just wanted to say bless you, and thank you for your hospitality again um, during our stay. Really appreciate it, Pastor. Thank you for your counseling as well. We had a good time in the most high, didn't we? We sure did. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. Be encouraged, daughter. Thank you. Bless you. Bless you. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. All right, Pastor. Shabbat shalom, my shepherd, my Jeremiah 315. Shabbat shalom. Hallelujah. Shabbat shalom. Hallelujah. I know Yah, my Yah, Yah is good, yeah. I know Yah. You know he bought me out of darkness. Yah is good. You know he bought me down to straightway. Yah is good. Said he bought me down to straightway. Yah is good. I can't say you like Sister Allison does and the sisters, but hey, you know he delivered me from demons. Yah is good. Said he delivered me from demons. Yah is good. Hey! You know he delivered me from demons. When he bought me down to straightway, because he saved my soul, my Jesus, he saved my soul. He brought me out of darkness. Yah is good. Ha! My granddaughter cutting a rug up as she's doing a Holy Ghost dance. Hallelujah. She was sleeping, boy, and it got her up out of sleep. <laughs> oh, Lord, just kidding. Let's go to Arizona. Brother Matt, call the number 928-928. This is Pastor Dow. You're on the Tribute to the Radio Broadcast. How can I help you there, Brother Matt? Hey, Shabbat Shalom, Pastor Dow. How are you? Bless the most high God, high in favor. How you doing? Pretty good, sir. Um, I just wanted to let you know I got your letter yesterday. Uh, very appreciative oh. for your response back quickly. Um, I uh, made a video and I like a small testimony, and I think I sent it to the right email. I just wondered if you had gotten that yet. I don't know. <laughs> is it on? Is it on YouTube? No, it was just uh, I sent a link. Um, I sent it to you uh, via Messenger and also through an email. So I don't know. Okay. If you'd what email that. did you send it? Um, the one that was on the bottom of, let's see, the one you sent me about calling the dining hall. It was uh, straightwater at nctf.com. No, NCTC. Yeah, NCTC. Is that the right one? Yeah, that's the right one. Uh, yeah, I sent the link, and it was yesterday, so. I'll go check it out. All right, I do appreciate it. And also, I just want to let you know that uh, 
I would love to be down there for Passover, but I have some issues here at home. I'm, I'm not going to be able to. Uh, but my wife and her mother, Mother Cynthia, I'm pretty sure are going to be down there. Um, so, you know, I just wanted to let you know. I mean, I'll be there in spirit, and, um, you know, I can't wait to meet you, act, you know, face-to-face, and, you know, we can sit down and have a talk and stuff. And so. Well, hallelujah. Glory to the king. Yes, sir. Love um, mom, yeah. Cynthia, man. Yeah, she's amazing. And then um, I have some more to send to you. I mean, it's not a whole lot. I mean, I'm not making a lot right now, but I'm doing what I can. So within the next couple of days, I'll be sending you another letter. All right, my brother. God bless you. All right. Thank you, sir. You know, Shabbat Shalom. You guys have a good Sabbath, and I'll I'll be tuning in tomorrow morning. Hallelujah. Shabbat Shalom. Yeah, as soon as we get finished this broadcast, I guess the straightway tech team is going to get on here and pull the mule out of the ditch in order for y'all to be able to see Shabbat service tomorrow. Hallelujah. Let's go to Minnesota. Call number 218218, Brother Jordan. It's Pastor Dow. Give him a straight to the radio broadcast. How can I help you? Hey, Shabbat Shalom, Pastor. Hey, Jordan, what's going on, son? I was just sitting here with Brother David and his family, and he's got right, a deliverance not too long ago, so I, I'm praising Yah, and Yah is definitely good, and I just wanted to say that I appreciate you know, all the hard work that you do and, and all the saints that, that they do down at Straightway, and, and I really appreciate uh, the Shabbat message and and uh, the brother segment as well. I, I mean, we're just getting really edified, and our spirits are just staying uplifted and encouraged, and uh, we, just, we just really appreciate everything that you do, Pastor. Well, y'all keep y'all keep y'all pastor in prayer, okay? I need that really. Bless y'all. Yes, sir. Bless you, sir. Shabbat shalom, Pastor Dow. Shabbat shalom, brother Dave. How you doing, sir? Oh, blessed and highly favored, sir. How are you? Blessed. Hallelujah. What's up? Hallelujah. Yeah, pastor, man, we just. Man, we've been feeling that fire, that fire you've been spitting on in the videos, Pastor, and all the Shabbat messages lately. Man, it's a consuming fire from the Most High Yah. And, Pastor, we're just blessed. We're blessed that uh, the Father, Abba Yah, was able to put you in our lives and our path. Mm-hmm. And, man, we cannot forsake this walk for one second. And we're just so I grateful, would. Pastor. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Uh, Brother George's got one uh, one more thing to say. Hey, Shabbat Shalom, Pastor. I don't want to take up too much of your time, but uh, I just wanted to say, too, uh, I just got done filing my taxes today, and apparently you do not have to pay anymore for, like, not having health insurance. I guess Donald Trump had changed that on uh, Wednesday or something like that. Um, so I just wanted Dang, to you know, share that. Hey, you're that girl. Bow too soon. <laughs> <laughs> Are you serious? Yes, sir. Yeah, it, it saved me seven hundred dollars. Woo! So if, if any other saints haven't filed yet, I mean, if they try to get you, just just let them know that. All right. Glory to the King. Hey, Pastor, sister's gonna say Shabbat Shalom real quick. All right. I just wanted to say Shabbat Shalom, Pastor, and bless you and the saints. Bless you, Don. How you doing, Evelyn? I'm blessed. Sir, and just keeping you lifted and all the saints that are striving, sir. How the baby doing? <laughs> She's good. She's very, very good, sir. Hallelujah. Glory to the king. Good hearing y'all you're Glory good hearing all of y'all voice. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shabbat Shalom, Pastor. Love you. Hallelujah. Shabbat Shalom. Bless y'all King coming. Let's go to Buddy Jerry. Call number 786. 786. It's Pastor Dow. You want to serve it to the radio broadcast? I can help, Brother Jerry. Hey, Shabbat Shalom, Pastor Dow. Bless you, Pastor. Shabbat Shalom. How am I coming in? Coming in pretty good. Hallelujah. I just want to say, welcome to the King. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. I just want to give him a praise because. He's truly worthy, Pastor, and I just want to let you know that I'm grateful to have you as my shepherd to lead and to guide me into all truth, to feed me with wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. 
I really thank you, Pastor, for all your hard labor. I really do. Hey, um, Brother Jerry, check this out. Um, that brother that got healed from a kidney disease, man, he used to be part of GMS. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I, he's got a testimony now because he's truly um, seen the power of the Most High Yah, um, and he couldn't find it where he came from. You got that right. It was amazing seeing that brother light, um, light up, Pastor, because, I mean, I, I would not have known that he had any kind of sickness or disease. If you would have told me, I wouldn't believe it because he was just so light up after he received the Holy Spirit. You could tell he was a totally different person. Now, is that anointing that was on it? Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Pastor, I don't have much tonight. I just want to say, um, you know, we got to our, um, we got to our destination safely. And um, I want to thank you for, um, you know, just, you know, just allowing me to come to the community and um, help out and everything. And if you don't mind, I would like to blow the shofar tonight because I can hear Elder Felix down there saying, blow the shofar, Brother Jerry. Go ahead. Blow it. Let it rip. in there tonight, though, didn't he? Let's go now to Wisconsin. Call number 262. 262 to Brother Jim. This is Pastor Dow. Hey. You're on the Straight Bridge Union Radio broadcast. I can help Brother Jim. Hey, Shabbat Shalom, Pastor Dow. How are you hey. this evening, sir? I'm doing well. Blessed are the most high y'all. Highly favored. How can I help my brother? Hallelujah. Well, I'm doing well, too. Blessed are the most high. And uh, I believe I'm highly favored. As well, sir. Hallelujah, you, know, you are. I, I was just, um, we we weren't sure exactly how we would be celebrating our Passover. This will be my third Passover that I've observed now coming up. Uh, my wife uh-huh. is, is full on board, and um, we have, uh, we have Brother Tyler and uh, his wife and children. Um, who, you know, we're planning to uh, share the Passover with as well. And as, I've, and as I've done this in the past, I've never been 100% sure that I've, I've put it together completely correctly. And I had wanted to, uh, I had wanted to get some, you know, counsel, and I've gotten a little bit of counsel on it, obviously, from Elder Doug. Uh, but um, I was wondering if you could kind of give me a, a good primer on how we should have it, um, who who may partic- participate. I know what the book says, um, but I know that you have people who come uh, down to the land there, and they may not actually, you know, it may be their first time ever to be exposed to this level of truth. So that's what I'd like to know uh, from you tonight, Pastor Dell. Well, all can be partakers of the Passover, and we're going to be doing a teaching about the Passover before we actually partake of it. And not only that, if you um, just tune in uh, during Shabbat, I mean during whenever we have the Feast of Unleavened Bread and Passover, we broadcast it live, and you can be right there and go right along the steps with us. It's really not that difficult and hard, but you can join with us in with us that way. And, uh, but I, I would definitely cover it because it take me longer uh, than this broadcast time will warrant for me to actually to answer your question that route and that way. But there's also some in the archives back there where we've actually taught on Passover. But uh, I'm going to talk about it here uh, uh, before we get to the actual Pesca service itself. That that would be awesome, and and I completely understand that. Uh, trying to, you know, really go over it front to back 
you know, I just took up the whole caller queue, so to speak. But uh, I appreciate you touching on that. I will look for some more uh, through the archives, uh, you know, uh, for it. And um, I appreciate that. Well, Pastor Dow, I, I will leave you be. That was my question for tonight. Blessings upon you. We pray for you in the ministry there. And uh, greatly appreciate you. Greatly appreciate uh, Elder Doug and all the brethren. You have a wonderful, blessed, restful Shabbat. All right, you too, my brother. Shabbat shalom. Amen. Let's go to Utah, Sister Lala. This is Pastor Dow. You're on the Straight with Youth Radio broadcast. I, uh-oh. Let me see it jumped on me. I'm How can I help you, Sister? Okay. Shabbat Shalom, Pastor Dow. Shabbat Shalom. I'm here with uh, my two brothers and my niece, and I just had a quick question for you. Um, sure. My mother's funeral is tomorrow, and my little sister's contacted me earlier this week and asked if we wanted to have some of her ashes because my mom was cremated. And I didn't really know what to tell her because I'm not sure if that's a part of our customs or or if that's wrong or not. So I wanted to ask your um, your guidance on that. Thank you. No, tell them to, to tell them y'all they can they can have the ashes and divide it between themselves. Y'all don't need them. Okay. Hallelujah. And my niece also wanted to say hello. She's here with us this Shabbat. Shabbat All right. Shabbat Shalom. <laughs> she's a little shy, but she's been singing and, and praising with you. When you started singing, she got up and started dancing herself. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. Well, bless you, Pastor. That's all I had. Thank you so much. Shabbat <laughs> Shalom. Bless y'all. Glory to the King. All right, let's go to New York. Brother Jose, call number 347-347. Pastor Dow, you on the Street with you radio broadcast. How can I help you, Jose? Shabbat Shalom, Pastor Dow. Um, I have a hey. quick question. Um, is... Is weed approved in the Bible? Weed? Yeah, marijuana. I mean, the Bible talks about the herbs of the field for the service of man, but it ain't never told us to smoke it. Oh, okay. Uh, Are you following me? Yeah. So I I should stop then, right? Bro, you shouldn't even be smoking it. All right. Um, my, I have I mean, another question. If um, you get the Holy Spirit, man, if you get the genuine Holy Spirit, you ain't gonna want no weed. Mm. I mean, is uh, it okay if Pastor Dow? Hey, wait a minute, brother. Is it okay if if Pastor Dow uh, gets up in the pulpit about morning five for John to start smoking it and saying I'm sending up sweet incense to the Most High Yah? No. Why? Uh. Because it don't seem right to me. Wait a minute. Why are you asking me if it, it don't seem right to you? <laughs> if it ain't all right for me to do it, then it's not all right for you to do it. But then you want to ask me about weed, and you already know that it don't seem right. <laughs> well, I have a question, um... Can't like how do you discern dreams to see if it's of y'all or not? Well, a lot of times you just have to wait it out and see. That's what you have to do. If the Bible says if you have a dream, you should tell it to someone. You know, you're up in that New York area, you should be up there affiliated, associated with Elder Felix. All right. All right, my brother. Well, Shabbat Shalom, Pastor. Shabbat Shalom. Let's go to California. Call number 925-925. This is Pastor Dow. You're on the Strictly Truth Radio broadcast. I can help Brother Jawan. Hallelujah. Shabbat Shalom, Pastor. Shabbat Shalom. Lord, thank you. Oh, I'm just stirred up over here in a good way, uh, hearing about uh, the brother and his wife, uh, the brother that was healed of uh, kidney disease, and Dr. Verified. Pastor, that's another one for the record. 
So that's the no. word to the king for that. That's hallelujah. So, hallelujah. But um, all is well. Um, I just actually a simple question because I I can't. Um, it's just about beer. Like I know you drink beer, and I know Saints they drink beer, but we have a there's a brewery you know that's down the street from where I live. And they make some really good beer. Like when I say really strong, some some strong stuff. It's like 11 percent, and it's bitter. So if you're not a real beer drinker, it's like not for you. Uh, but I was gonna actually have some sent out to you guys ahead of time because there's no way I'm gonna be able to get this stuff on a plane. So, but I don't want to send it if you know certain saints won't. You know if the saints won't drink it because it's not like Stella or Modelo or any of that stuff. It's like you, you were in the like military and, and you were in Germany, so it's some like some, some like real a, beer like that. Yeah, we 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 drink we um we got places up here and the Elder Rupert's got places up here where we can actually get German beer. It's called it like the Heavy Bison. That's that's a pretty stout beer. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So oh, yeah, they love that. So they they break it up. Holy. Okay. Well, uh, that does it for me. Uh, that's all I want to know, and we can't wait to see you guys all as well. We're just Overly excited, you know. I, I I wake up every day and I get excited because it's one day closer to seeing you guys. So, uh, one second. Shabbat shalom, Pastor. How you doing, Malia? I'm doing very well, sir. Enjoying my husband's son. Hallelujah. Lord to the King. <laughs> yes, sir. Just sleepy. That's all. Ready for Shabbat service to to start two in the morning. All right. Bless you. Bless you, Pastor. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. Hallelujah. Man, yeah, it's getting close, isn't it? Glory to the King. All right, let's go to Arizona, Brother David. Call number 480 is Pastor Dow. You know, straight with two radio broadcasts. I can have Brother David. Shabbat shalom, Pastor. How you doing? Man, I'm here. Doing well. <laughs> Got you a copy? Roger that. Come on. Yeah, all right. Well, what a show, Pastor. I'm telling you, I'm, I'm keep blowing that show far. That's all I've got to say. You might, you must be bringing out some incredible weather out here in Arizona over the last few days. So, so we appreciate that out out, out here. Thank you, Pastor. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, Pastor, I also want to say thanks for uh, you know, as I as I kind of get into the Bible a little bit more, you know, especially with. Uh, I remember your uh, your Shabbat for many months ago, and uh, you kind of recommended the uh, Old Testament light, um, Josephus, and uh, man, that book, that icons, masterpieces of Russian art. Oh man, that is a book, Pastor. I tell you, I tell you what, right now, um, you know, as I, as I read the Bible and kind of get into the uh, Old Testament light, you know, uh, it's, it gets pretty revealing when you when you really get in there. It just it's all it's sometimes it's almost like you're reading a different book. You know what I mean? True, true. That's true. <laughs> Um, but, uh, anyway, just, just, just great, good, good times, Pastor. Thanks for, uh, you know, thanks for everything you're doing there. Um, you know, a heck of a show today. You are fired up today, Pastor, aren't you? Oh, hallelujah. Does whatever way the spirit of y'all lead. <laughs> I tell you what, I, I wanted to ask you too, Pastor. Um, you probably noticed, uh, good, good old glorious leader up there in North Korea, Kim Jong, seems to have offed. Uh, I don't know if it was his half brother, or half cousin, or something like that. Did you catch that story recently, Pastor? No. What happened? Um, I, I, I guess the story is, uh, you know, there was, you know, there's kind of a power struggle, I guess, going on there, and um, you know, it's, it sounds like he had him killed. I, I don't know, but as I as I heard that story, Pastor, I couldn't help but think, um, you know, kind of being a student of history myself, I seem to recall. Um, after uh, Trotsky lost his battle with Stalin, uh, you know, Trotsky went to Mexico, and uh, Stalin had him killed in Mexico in 1940, and then, you know, the you know the Soviet Union was in a pretty uh, expanded and massive war uh, after that in 41 when Germany attacked, and uh, it, it just feels, it just sounds like, it seems like something really biblical, Pastor, and I don't know if this guy, I mean, it definitely kind of feels like what's going on in our times today and everything, and I, I don't know if this, this sounds like something you've heard before, or uh, you just had any thoughts there, sir. I don't know one thing. I like that Filipino president, though, because that, that, that booger man like them people over in the Arab countries, man. I think he throws sodomites off the two, two three-story buildings. I like him. Okay. Um, you're talking about uh, 
uh, you know, kind of, kind of sound like he's coming back around towards Trump and everything. Uh, maybe maybe a little bit of bulwark to what's going on in the, uh, the Far East right now. Oh, no, I really got – I haven't really um, spent too much time looking over that, but I really truly need to because I noticed that, um, you know, when he sent, sent the ambassadors over there, that, that they're really having a problem over there with North Korea. Well, it's it's as high as it can be with North Korea right now, Pastor. I'll, t- I'll tell you that right now, and I think a lot of it has to do with none of us really know what he's going to do. You know, um, you know he's got got some more interesting weapons these days. You know what I mean? And uh, I don't know, Pastor. It's crazy times. You know what I mean? Hallelujah. All right, my Hallelujah. brother. Well, Pastor. Anyway, anyway, staying positive. Keep, keep it up, Pastor. You know you're doing you're doing awesome. You know, a heck of a show to, to, today, and look forward to watching your Shabbat tomorrow. Uh, God bless you, sir, and Shabbat Shalom. Glory to the King. Shabbat Shalom. Let's go to Brother Zach in Kentucky. Brother Zach in Kentucky, 606, the only brother in Kentucky, huh? Y'all know I'm being sarcastic, right? All right. Um, yeah. Hey, I can help. Brother Zach. Shalom, Pastor Dow. Shalom, Brother Zach. Am I coming in good? Yes, sir. Come on with it. Good. Oh, I just called in and say hi, Pastor. And yeah, there's a few other brothers here in Kentucky. <laughs> I got a, yes, sir. another brother here I'd like to another brother here I'd like to say hello. So I guess I hear you. Shabbat Shalom, Pastor. Shabbat Shalom. This is this is Will. Uh, I'm a friend of uh, Zach and Misty's. Uh, yes, sir. About you. Uh, been watching a lot of your uh, videos on YouTube and uh, listening to uh, the spot services and things, and uh, just wanted to give you a shout out and say I appreciate the uh, good teaching and preaching, especially making us stand this day and time against uh, the uh, traditions of men and the preaching and teaching of the traditions of men and somebody actually preaching and teaching the actual word of Yah. I appreciate you, and thank you very much, sir. You're welcome. Hallelujah. Keep listening. Yes, sir. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. That's a pretty good phone call, isn't it? All right. Let's go to California. Call number 916916, Pastor Dow. You know, Serbia Truth Radio broadcast, I can help you. California 916 going once, twice, three times. All right, New York, call number 646-646, Brother Mike. Brother Mike, you already called in, didn't you? Yes, sir. All right, Shalom. All right. I already called in. Let's go to... 614, Brother Mike, 614. It's Pastor Dow, you know, Serbia 2 Radio Broadcast. How can I help, Brother Mike? Bless you, Pastor Dow. Am I coming in clear? Coming in loud and clear. All right, hallelujah. Y'all got this headset at Walmart. You never know what you're going to get from China. But anyway, uh, wow, Pastor, uh, uh, we bless you. We thank you for this platform that saints can call in and talk to you and give testimonies and... Uh, Make themselves known. It's a beautiful thing. It really is. And there ain't pastors out there like you who will open up a call or two like this and don't know what's on the other side of the phone and what questions they're going to be asked. So uh, we thank you. We appreciate you. We really do. Hallelujah. Um, The purpose for my call tonight is uh, my dear, beloved brother Eric. I need my videos back, brother Eric. The videos that you post on YouTube, I need them back. And the reason why is um, you have a, you have quite a few videos, a couple that come to mind that I always um, give to saints, new saints that come to the assembly, that are new to the assembly. I always give them these specific teachings by you because, brother, you are such a blessing to Israel. And maybe I shouldn't. Have, I should have told you this a long time ago, but I never felt the need to. But maybe I should have. But you are such a blessing to Israel because uh, uh, your teachings are an addition that are in harmony 
with the teachings of Straightway Truth Ministry. And we appreciate you. And um, Pastor Dahlia, you made it clear some time back uh, about the teachings that you post online. And I love the fact that you always make it known that you are under the authority of Pastor Charles Dow. And just by your fruit, you are not seeking to draw men unto you, but to draw men to the truth that they might be saved. And I, and I truly love you for that, brother. Um, there was a time last year I called my wife into the room. I was watching one of your teachings. I called my wife in the room, and I said, look at him. I'm pointing to the screen. Look at Brother Eric. He can't help it. It's burning in him. He got to get in front of that camera. His studies, yeah. his, that anointing that comes over, it's burning. He can't help it, Pastor. And, and we love him for it. I, I really do. Um, but Eric's a good the teacher. Apostle Paul. Yes, sir. The Apostle Paul made it clear um, that the continuation of the assembly throughout the generations is going to demand. It demands the transmission of Bible truth. And that that's not my forte. My forte, I don't have one when it comes to that. Maybe the Father will find a purpose for me later or somewhere. But, 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 you know, when I see those that had that anointing, I'm yearning. I'm seeking his faith. And, and since that transmission of Bible truth must be taught, Brother Eric, I'm, I'm going to give to you. This is what I'll do. I'll give to you, Brother Eric, what you give to me. We're going to go to the Word. We're going to go to uh, 2 Timothy uh, 2, chapter 2, and that uh, 222. Two, two. Well, when I was a good Christian, I would have played that number. Give me give me $5 on 222, two, straight in box. But anyway, uh, we're going to go to 2 Timothy, chapter 2, verse 2. And the things that thou hast heard of me among many witnesses, the same commit thou to faithful men who shall be able to teach others also. Three, therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Yahshua Hamashiach. And I just want to bless you, Elder. I need, uh, elder I'm calling you Elder. Oh, my goodness. I want to bless you, brother, brother Eric. I want to bless you and thank you for all your due diligence, all your hard study, all your sharing. And I need my videos back, brother. I appreciate you, Pastor. Hallelujah. Bless you, my brother. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. That's brother Mike over in Kentucky, the only brother in Kentucky, being uh, sarcastic again. <laughs> Giving a shout out how much he really do appreciate Brother Eric from Nebraska's his teaching. And Brother Eric's a good teacher, that's all there's to it. All right, New Jersey. Elder Felix, call number 609-609. Shabbat Shalom, Elder. I can help you. Shabbat Shalom. Uh, this is uh, Brother Cody, actually. Yes, sir. Hey, Brother Cody, what you got? Yes, sir. Just wanted to call um, Elder Felix Lemmy Barr's phone. I just wanted to call and say uh, Shabbat Shalom. I uh, just want to let you all know that uh, I love you very much. And uh, thank you. I thank you for, um, for your teaching, sir. I thank you for uh, putting out your videos and uh, especially talking about being a man and especially talking about uh, uh, the love that we're actually supposed to be having in this generation because it's just it's so much lacking in my generation. It's so much Hallelujah. lacking in my generation. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I just I just thank you. I thank you. I got Jesus. I just thank you. I got Jesus. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Uh, yes, sir. Here's Elder Field, sir. Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom, Pastor. Shabbat Shalom. Bless you. Hey, bless you, bless you, Pastor. This is Brother Tyree. I just want yeah, to give a shout out to all the Israel. I love y'all, I and I thank you, Pastor, for being a blessing and letting the Holy Spirit flow through you and teaching us how to let the Spirit flow through us and also clean out all those rooms and let the Father in. So thank you, Pastor, and thank you, Israel. Shalom, shalom. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom, my Pastor. How you doing, sir? Bless you. Oh, bless you. All good in your voice. Hallelujah. Bless you. Bless you. Shabbat shalom, Israel. Shabbat shalom. 
Pastor, I was Absolutely. just, uh, you know, I, I I was just thinking earlier. You you know, you talk about spiritual retardation, and uh, now I have a different one for you, Pastor. I think we're gonna have to call this one spiritual madness, and that's what I'm seeing right now. It's it's, it's just it's just crazy what's uh, what what we experiencing right now. But I want to encourage all Israel to keep on keep on the right track. Keep on keep on. Uh, Looking uh, in in the direction that we we, uh, we we you're looking, and uh, follow follow Pastor as you follow the Most High, as you always say. Thank you so much for what you're doing, Pastor. We appreciate you, and we really love you. Shabbat shalom, Hallelujah. Shabbat shalom, Elder. Glory to the King. Keep holding the fort down up there. Yes, sir. We shall we we shall they will. Bless you, Thank you, man. Give Brother Shannon a big old hug for me. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Brother Shannon has been very supportive over here. Brother Tyree, Brother uh, Cody, they've been on my side. They stick to me like uh, white on rice. <laughs> so I'm grateful. <laughs> I'm grateful, Pastor. Thank you for what you're doing, sir. We really appreciate you, Pastor. Bless you. Shalom, shalom. Shalom, shalom. Shabbat shalom. All right, let's go to Virginia. Brother Chris calling him a 571 Pastor Dow. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. All right, Brother Chris, I can help you. Oh, Shabbat Shalom. How are you, Pastor? All right. Blessed the most high, y'all. Hallelujah. Um, because I know that Elder Becker is listening right now, uh, is it okay to ask him uh to call me whenever you can as soon as possible because I do have yeah. some concerns. Okay. Well, you call the dining Thank hall you. and leave your leave a message for Elder Becker and tell his brother Chris from Virginia and he will address your concerns. Okay. Uh, All right. Yes sir. And, yes, sir. All right. Shabbat shalom, sir. Shabbat shalom. Let's go to Texas. Two eight one two eight one, brother Andre. It's Pastor Dow. You on a straight with truth radio broadcast. I can help you, sir. Shalom. Shalom. Shalom, Pastor, beloved Pastor. This is Sister Nastasha, not Brother Andre. I think this happened again. I don't again. know how your name got. I don't know how that name got mixed up. I'm just going off what Brother Shane got in here. Okay, Sister Nastasha, how you doing? Yes, sir. I'm very well. I'm very blessed, and I thank you for all that you do. I'm coming to you humbly as a, as if I were your own blood daughter asking you a question as um, I was born to you. Um, I am re- really calling about a comment that was in the um, in the comments on on this blog talk radio from Brother Samuel. It says uh, JSNIP4 did a video about health care questions and tax reforms. We all know that they're taking money from us if we decline health coverage, and they took $400 from me from last year. Um, And I don't want it to happen again, but um, as I've contacted the IRS, you have to be a part of a religious sect, and they are not telling me what they, um, what the religious sects are. I cannot find it on the website, and when I called, they they gave me a roundabout answer. Can you maybe speak to that for any of us who are going through that? Because I have a higher paying job that's going to allow me to get um, out of debt. And they, you know, subliminally put the health coverage in the onboarding process. And um, they don't have any information for us. They just wanted to want us to sign up for health coverage. But the father is my health coverage. I don't want to be taxed anymore. And I'm frustrated with this as the last three years have gone. I understand. Gone. Well, I tell you what, some of y'all uh, lawyers – that we got in the ministry here as well as some of y'all um, paralegals that's in the ministry and some of y'all researchers. If y'all could do some research, and um, two questions here. Number one, uh, are there taxes on personal deposit? And number two, uh, addressing Sister Nastasha's question right here uh, in reference to uh, uh, being exempt from elig- for religious affiliations and stuff and see if we can find out because I know they're not going to give a certain group but it has to be a certain form or a certain number that we can use to actually uh, put into those um, categories for the taxes. So somebody call down the hall and let us know. Hallelujah. And leave your information. All right, sister, we can hear something. We'll get back with you. Yes, sir. Thank you so much. Bless you. 
Bless you. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. All right, last call tonight. California, 916-916. Pastor Dow, you're going to serve at your radio broadcast. How can I help you there in California? Pastor Dow, Shabbat Shalom. This is Brother Desmond out of California. Man, how you doing, Brother Desmond? I bet you're doing good. I am doing fantastic, Pastor. I can't, I don't have the words to describe it. Elder Donnie the is the one who dropped the dropped the bomb, man, and told us about what happened to you. Yes, sir. Um, it, it was, um, you know, it was an amazing thing. I, you know, I just went to get some lab results, um, and you know, I just normally just check, you know, to see where I'm at, you know, to see, you know, if anything has progressed or gotten worse. And you know, I hadn't seen normal numbers. In, in well over a year I hadn't seen You know And when I checked My um, My chart in what I'll show you in person It was all perfect And I mean Every single thing On there was perfect And I didn't really know What to make of it So I reached out <laughs> To find out If maybe there was You know Something going on But they No one can explain it It's just My, my, my numbers are perfect And uh the deliverance just worked, and so immediately, you know, I just reached out to the elder and, and, and advised him and um, shared with him the praise report, and uh, you know, from there it, it just went on. But I was so excited, so thankful. Uh, it's just I, I, every day it's been something else. Every day it's just been better news. Every day, it's I can't explain it. But I tell you what, man, that elder and. and uh, Brother Scott and Brother Shane, and them brought. I mean, they got they got off them spirits, didn't they? <laughs> yes, sir. And, and and you know, I'll tell you this: uh, I've never had anyone ever in my life pray for me like that. You know, uh, one of the things that I I can say is that you know I'm beholden to my brethren for for forever. You know, I I, I they did not allow me to. They they waited. They you know they stayed until there was a breakthrough. They were they were not. Interested in in seeing anything but deliverance, and I can tell you that it was it was their faith because I didn't have much, you know. Uh, it, it was their faith that really brought me through because I was still hesitant, and I still had even even my being honest right now, I still had some concerns and some a little bit of doubt because I had never seen any difference. You know, the the, the physicians and the doctors would would just let me know, you know, this is never going to go away, and we we just need to maintain it and but i can tell you right now that uh there's no need to maintain anything because there's just nothing there so my kidneys <laughs> are as good as anybody else's so <laughs> lord to so the right king now, y'all good isn't he yeah, it, he is he's good all the time and 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 it actually increased my faith Pastor. it increased my faith and uh should sure. you know i'm coming back i'm coming back for 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 passover and you know, there are other things that, you know, that as I begin to work out my own soul, my own salvation and see more things clearly, you know, it's almost like I woke up a different man. I, I just look at the world differently, Pastor. I don't see the same thing as I saw before coming in. And um, and I return different. You know, I return here different. And people can see it. You know, there's a sharp difference. Um, you know, I'm just too serious. It's just I, I don't have time to play. And, uh, you know, I I want every single thing I can get, and I am still desperate. I am not going to back off from that one iota. All right, hey, make sure when you deal with them heathen out there, remember, don't cast your pearls before swine. Be very wise about who you speak to about this because, you know, uh, uh, swine and dogs, they like turning and rending and stuff. This is a very special thing y'all have given us. Yes, sir, and uh, I'll I'll just tell you, you know, and everyone else, I, I didn't deserve it. You know, I'm being honest. I there wasn't anything great about me. I I didn't deserve it at all. But I just so I'm so thankful and appreciative of what y'all have done for me. Um, you know, it's like again, words can't. My words are weak and fruitless in comparison to the facts uh, of what actually happened and how it really feels. I, I just don't have the words, Pastor. But I just thank you, your leadership, uh, for for your guidance. I thank you. I thank the saints. I thank the obedience of all those that straightway that actually live it. And uh, and had it not been for people who actually are of one mind and on one accord that truly believe in what they're about and what they're doing and believe in the Most High God, his ability to, to heal, 
set free and deliver, I, I really would not have experienced that whole thing happen in my body. I'm a living truth. I'm a living testimony to this thing. My body is proof. I have the paperwork to prove it. I have the doctor's notes to prove it, and no one can explain it, but I got my answer. Hey, straightway is a whole lot different than GMS. Ain't that right? Uh, yes, sir. <laughs> man, I keep yes, telling folks that them folks ain't got no power, man. I keep trying to tell people, but maybe some are here. When are you going to make them videos? Uh, they'll be done on first day. Wow, you must have already been busy. <laughs> uh, you know, I, I just want to make sure that it's, that it's laid out correctly um, because, you know, I'm really, you know, for what happened to me, can happen to anybody, and true, you know, I I, I don't want anybody to miss it. I, I just don't, and and I, I'm really calling out people to come on out and 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 just listen to you. You know, I just if they could just listen to you and and, and turn off the things that's holding them and binding them to these camps and, and and other places that they feel connected to or they feel loyal to. Loyalty is a good thing, but we should be loyal to the Most High Yah. And, and and you truly are a servant of the Most High Yah, and I can tell you by truth of my own experience that it is a fact. And and I'm I'm re, I'm looking for for my brethren that that will really hear and 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 really come out of those things, and and because there truly is, you know, a, a shepherd in Israel that can that can lead you, and uh, and I really want them to to cue in and, and get locked in with us. So thank you again, Pastor. I appreciate it very much. Oh, hallelujah. Powerful testimony. We thank uh, the Father. We thank Jesus for healing you. Hallelujah. Glory to the King. And I'm sure that everybody's happy there. You you stay encouraged, okay? Uh, yes, sir. That, that was one last thing I wanted to say. You know, one of the biggest things that, one of the biggest deals that, that's going to be kind of hard for people to swallow, it wasn't the name of Yahweh Shai that did it. It was the name of Jesus. And that's a big deal. <laughs> it's a big deal. Yeah, it is a big deal, isn't it? Yes, sir. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. All right, my brother. Blessings to you all. Thank you. Blessings. Shalom. Shalom. All right, brothers, sisters. See y'all tomorrow morning. Be the Father's will. Bless you all. And sweet, precious, strong, victorious, and mighty, overcoming name. Our soon coming king, Yahshua Hamashiach. Jesus the Christ, the king, is coming. <laughs> Uh-oh, look at him looking.